Yeah, good morning. Morning, well it's almost lunchtime. Um, we're off the coast of, uh, well almost Portugal now, still probably Spain, but we're on the cusp. Um, we're about 60 miles offshore, um, but actually I don't know why I'm pointing there, because it's over there. Yes, yes. Um, I tacked earlier because of, although it looks uh, not great in front of us there, I can promise you it looked even worse where I was headed, which was over there. There was a large growing cumulo nimbus cloud. Um, although there's a few embedded cumulus there. Uh, and yeah, so I had to get out of the way. And as the Portuguese current, unlike the Portuguese trade wind, which is pissed off, the Portuguese current is still here, which uh, gives me about half a knot in a southerly direction all of the time. I'm randomly pointing at the horizon. I should really point at my face, shouldn't I? I'm just, I don't know, I really want to talk to the camera. Um, yeah, so that, uh, that current gives me a little bit of south all of the time, so I can afford to, uh, on, on, I'm not super close hauled, but I'm, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm comfortably on a close reach. Uh, yeah, I can afford to take advantage of that uh, of that current and still get a bit of south out of it. If we look on here, here's my heading is uh, 098. Uh, my course over the ground is 001. So you can see that currents are driving me a little bit. <laughs> you bastard. Uh, what else is there to show you? <laughs> yeah, so I've got the boat trimmed to sail between 50 and 60 degrees uh, to the wind, to the true wind. Uh, and you can see this here, where, well, you know, and I don't mind if it, it varies a little bit either way. And whatever heading that gives us, it gives us. So really, we're being steered by the wind, not by anything else. I've just trimmed the boat, and if we look back here, although the tiller pilot is still connected, it's in standby mode. This, by the way, is essential if you're going to use a tiller pilot in any kind of weather, because they just jump off the pin. And when they jump off the pin, you're in the poo. Uh, speaking of which, a rather unpleasant uh, task I have to uh, undertake right now. I've just broken out the servicing kit for my... I'll, I'll look at the beautiful skies. Hmm. I've just broken out the servicing kit for my baby Blake's toilet. And I can assure you, I would not be doing that if there was any way to avoid it. So let's hope that the job I've got to do I can complete before we run into that fucking cloud. I'm swearing. I, I told myself I shouldn't swear in any of these videos. Well, today I guess the shit hit the fan. Well, not the fan, but everywhere else. Okay, back to work. We were on the other tack for a long time, but the ship's compass is stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go and give it a tap. It's rubbish anyway, it needs a line. It's ornamental, rather like my wind vane steering. I wanted to add, uh, purely because I can hear all of the YouTube know-it-alls commenting already about how dangerous it is to have your tiller pilot taped to the rudder. And what happens in an emergency if you have to blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll tell you, first of all, in an emergency, if I have to blah, 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 I go to standby mode and do no rudder feedback steering using the buttons here. Helps me to steer the boat perfectly fine. But if that didn't work, then I simply remove the other end, swing it round and get it out of the way. So you see, there is no danger. And right, back in. There is no danger in taping the head of your tiller pilot if, like mine, it tends to pop off when things get a bit interesting. Ah, there we go. So that's for all the, all the, um, what do they call them these days? Oh, the haters. All the haters on the YouTubes. There's your answer. Bye. Afternoon, 6th of July. It's been six hours since I lashed or held the rudder in place and I've not touched anything in six hours. We've just sailed 50 degrees to the true wind the whole time. And we are again approaching the traffic lanes. 
that big growing queue nim in front of us there. That's a good sign, actually, because the, the traffic lanes are about uh, 15 miles, nautical miles ahead of us, full of traffic, which we can't see at the moment. I did see one ship that was outside, it was still over there on the horizon. Um, and uh, I don't want to be messing around in the traffic lanes, especially in the evenings. So that QNIM will be, or approaching that will be, it's not quite a QNIM yet, but it's, it's a baby one, it's growing. Um, that will be the signal to tack, and then I'm going to end up going that way tonight, probably about over there. And there's no traffic over there, there's no weather over there, probably no wind over there certainly not the right direction but it means I can have a nice relaxing night time without having to panic about checking every five minutes who's nearby and what's going on so that'll be nice been a very casual afternoon we even had a snooze in the cockpit listening to the Duke it's Duke Ellington for anyone who's not aware In my mind I'm gone 